It seems like Christmas came a bit early for Golden State Warriors star Draymond Green and Grizzlies guard Ja Morant. They've been going back and forth on social media this offseason, stoking the fire of the growing rivalry between the defending champs and Western Conference up-and-comer. While the rivalry has certainly been spicy at times, Green actually had some words for Morant in the middle of the news. Let's look at what we know. First off, Draymond responded to Morant's call-out. Fans may know that the squads will get to face off in a showcase spot on Christmas Day, per longtime NBA insider Mark Stein. On the 13th of August, Stein reported this, confirming the event. Memphis at Golden State is a highly anticipated Christmas Day game on the NBA's preliminary schedule for the 2022-23 season, and it's on course to be made official this coming week. The game's going to be a rematch of the Western Conference semifinals between the teams, which the Warriors won in six games en route to the title. Morant was super quick to respond to the news. He tagged Green and said that they finally got what they both wanted. Draymond replied to this by tweeting that this was the power of their voice, Young. He seemed quite enthusiastic in his tone and it felt like he was very much looking forward to it. Adding to his message, he also asked Morant to bring the family to the crib for dinner afterward. Next up, the rivalry between the Warriors and Grizzlies is still heated. While Green and Morant definitely exchanged some nice words, it's clear that the rivalry on the court is still something that could get controversial. This is if we judge it by comments made by both sides after the Warriors won the title. The Golden State guard, Clay Thompson, made it a point to call out some comments from Grizzlies big man, Jaron Jackson. After the win, he told the reporters that strength in numbers is alive and well. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted something similar to this after they beat them in the regular season and it pissed him off so much. He said he couldn't wait to retweet that thing. Morant responded on Twitter, saying that the Grizzlies have a lot of real estate in the Warriors' heads, but it seems like Green didn't take too kindly to that. He tweeted by saying that they had already traded that real estate. He said the property value was higher in Boston. The exchange led to Ja voicing his plan to play the Warriors on Christmas Day, which has now seemingly come to success unless the league decides to change things up before the official schedule release. Also, the Warriors have gotten Lakers for the opening night. Just recently, the news that the Warriors would open their title defense against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers also came down. Golden State won that matchup 121-114 and the teams went in quite different directions for the rest of the year. The Warriors ended up with a 53-29 record and won their fourth title in eight years. James and co stumbled through an injury-riddled season and missed the postseason. But despite that, we can confidently say that a LeBron James-led team can never be doubted. Even if people point out that the Kings turning 38 next season, it really doesn't matter that much. The Lakers are still in the top six teams in terms of title odds. Coming in at 950, as reported by Caesars Sportsbook, the Warriors are at number two and behind only the Boston Celtics. And Draymond also said that Morant reminds him of himself. Interestingly enough, when asked which young player reminds him of himself the most, Green referred to Morant. Of course, prior to giving an answer, he made it known that he's a one of one, probably something no one would disagree with. It didn't take long for him to hear Green's comments, which prompted a great response from the young Memphis Grizzlies star. He said he's going to have to go with Morant in a much different way than people would expect. He wouldn't bow down to anyone and certainly doesn't care what he accomplished before he got here. Draymond says that this has absolutely nothing to do with him. He believes in himself and his abilities, and he'll go as far as he can to show that to everyone. He's going to lead the scene, and he definitely sees Morant doing all those things too. Still, before people start getting carried away with the comparisons, Green wanted to make one thing clear. He said they're not necessarily the exact same player, but the latter does remind him a lot of himself. Plus, Green admitted that he and Morant play very different games. It's pretty clear that Green was primarily discussing the mental aspects of the game when comparing Morant to himself, but when it came to playing on the field, he joked that he and the latter had no similar games at all. Fans will know that last season was a standout year for him and the Grizzlies. He averaged 27.4 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 6.7 assists. 49.3% of these assists were from the field and 34.4% from behind the three-point line. He's currently ranked seventh in the MVP vote. Also, the Grizzlies used a green quote as an incentive. Around a year ago, Grizzlies star Jaron Jackson Jr. made an appearance on social media. After posting a video on TikTok, fans got to know that he's training for the next season. During the clip, the camera pans to a whiteboard in the Grizzlies locker room with a quote from Green on it. It says that Memphis will examine its reality. This is a message earlier sent by the Green in an episode of The Old Man 
Man and the Three with J.J. Reddick and Tommy Alter. Apparently, Memphis hasn't forgotten the Green Deus case at all. But just because the team and player might not get along doesn't mean that Green can't respect Moran. It's good to see him show his love for the young star, but it'll be so much more fun to see the two teams up against each other. So let's see what happens. And now for some other related news. First off, Draymond invited Anthony Edwards to join New Media. During the latest episode of his podcast, Green was asked who should be the next NBA player to join the New Media Wave. He answered very quickly, saying that Minnesota Timberwolves star Anthony Edwards would be the right person for the job. Anyone who's been paying close attention will know that Edwards is an absolute star in the making. Last season with the Timberwolves, he managed to average 21.3 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 3.8 assists. Among the assists, 44.1% were shooting from the field and 35.7% from behind the three-point line. Still, the main reason why Draymond thinks Anthony's a perfect choice is that he has irrational confidence. The guy says whatever the he can think of, which Green really appreciates. He's funny and attractive, so maybe that should be enough for the majority. Next up, Draymond and Hazel Renee have a stunning engagement shoot. Green and Hazel Renee go way back further than people would expect. When the actress first met the NBA star, it was prior to when he was a four-time champion, even before when he first stepped foot on a professional basketball court. Now the two just recently got married on the 14th of August. To celebrate their next chapter before walking down the aisle, they posed for a stunning engagement shoot. It was snapped by prized wedding photographer Stanley Babb of Stanlow Photography and set up by planner Diane Valentine. The couple was photographed in two regal looks, Renee in gowns by Felicia Ellis and Green in suits by Aiden Miles. They've also created quite the life together since they got together. The two have a daughter together named Cash and two other children, Olive and Draymond Jr., both from their prospective previous relationships. They're also constant travel companions, which is probably their their favorite thing to do together. Green and Hazel said that they're looking forward to celebrating love and this new chapter in their lives peacefully. We wish them the very best. Lastly, Tyrese Halliburton gets honest on John Morant's Grizzlies path for the Pacers. Speaking on Basketball Network, Tyrese expressed his excitement about the Pacers' long-term future with the young talents they have. He cited the Grizzlies as the standard that most teams look at in building a team with a young core, and similarly, he sees the Pacers taking that step as well. And he certainly has every reason to be optimistic. Not only are they well coached with Rick Carlisle managing that end, but they also have a deep roster with a lot of potentials. They can get more assets if they trade Buddy Heald or Miles Turner, but it's also fine if they keep the two high impact players. Apart from him, we also have the likes of Chris Duarte, Jalen Smith, Isaiah Jackson, Aaron Nesmith, and rookie Benedict Maturin, who have shown tons of potential and promise. It still remains to be seen whether the Pacers can live up to their potential or not. But it sure looks like Halliburton is ready for the challenge, and we're excited to see what happens next. And that's a wrap for this video. What did you think of Draymond Green responding to John ja Morant's call out? Let us know in the comments below. Do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell notification for similar videos. See you in the next one.